Have you ever wondered if there's an easier way to track the price action of two different markets or instruments in NinjaTrader 8 on the same chart, rather than having two different charts open or two charts, you know, put next to each other and some people might have four charts on one screen, uh, all tracking various markets. Now, some of these markets might be correlated, meaning that they tend to move uh, in the same direction. They tend to have around about the same times reversals or make highs or lows, or whatever the case might be. Then you also have inverse correlated markets where the one might be trending up and the other one will be doing exactly the opposite trending lower. But then sort of when the market, let's say, turns from a bullish on the one to bearish, around about the same time, the bearish one or market might turn from bearish to bullish. So inverse correlation, right? Now, these sort of um, occurrences of correlation, the inverse correlation can be useful in your decision making. Some traders do use that often to decide maybe on longer term, for example, if the dollar is gaining strength, for example, maybe the gold is going to, you know, get weaker, that sort of thing. You know, so it can help with your technical related decision making before you do trade. All right. So how do you actually pull up two data sets, as NinjaTrader 8 calls it, or two different instruments onto one shot. Now it's actually pretty simple. All you really need to do is go over to your control panel, Ninja Trader 8, click on new and then head on over to your chart button as you would open any chart for that matter, right? Now let's say for example, we want to load two instruments. The first one, just for explanation purposes, let's pick the ESE mini S&P, all right? Now on the right hand side here, I like to pull up a template that I use quite often with a dark background. You can select a template that you want, obviously, to use, or you could just go and select none. All right, so I'm just going to leave it on the template that I've selected. <clears throat> For this explanation, I'm just going to leave it on a 60 minute chart. You can basically load any time frame you want to. Just note that if we get to the next step where we're going to load the other market to be displayed on the same chart, then you need to use the same time frame, right? So you want to compare price action on the one to the other, right? So they need to be set to the same time bar, candlestick, or whatever it is you want to use. I use bars for the amount of, instead of the amount of days, you can select days there for the time frame, and I like to load 5,000. It's quite a lot. But it'll be nice and useful to show you historically how correlated or incorrelated or reverse correlated some of these markets might be. Right, and then by default, I'm just going to leave it on candlesticks. And I like to see my down candlesticks as red, my bearish ones and my bullish ones as lime green. You might have different colors, but that'd be the first simple thing to do. And you just go ahead and click OK. Like you would any other chart that you like to open. All right, so there we have the historical price action as well as the current price action for the ES. Now, let's say you want to pull in the NASDAQ, for example, compare the price stack um, movement of the NASDAQ versus the ES. You just go ahead and right click, go to data series, and you'll see you already got the ES loader here, but now all you need to go and do is select another instrument. I'm going to go and select the NASDAQ, pulls the NASDAQ in there. Now you have to go and configure and properties, uh, very similar, um, I'm going to say data than you would for the ES. I'm leaving it on a one minute for the six and the 60, <coughs> sorry, 60 minute chart, not a one minute bars, 5,000 bars. You're going to have days, but then make sure that you do the same on the other one. And I'm going to leave it on candlestick. But I want to differentiate between the two charts when they actually do overlay over each other. So, for example, on the NQ, let's say for the down candle, I'll rather select, I don't know, a teal color. And for the up candle, I like to use yellow. So you can differentiate between the two markets, right? Now, very important here. Um, this is where you need to make sure that you follow these following steps. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Here by panel, you got to select one. And the reason being is you want to have the NASDAQ appear on the same panel. In this case is referring to the chart than the ES. If you go over to the ES, you'll see here by panel, it's on one. By default, if you select a new instrument here, 
it will ask or default to a new panel. All right. So what it will do is if you load that, it'll actually load on a new panel below your chart. So you want to basically select one so that both the ES and the NASDAQ, whatever markets you want to compare to each other, are loaded on the same panel. So that's very important. Then the next thing that's very important is you're yeah, under the price market drop down menu. You need to select scale justification and set that to overlay. All right, very important. So you're going to overlay this second data series that you're pulling into the configuration here to overlay on the same panel as the first one that you selected. And that's basically what it means. All right. And all you need to do now is just go ahead and click OK. And now you'll have both markets, the ES and the NASDAQ, in this case, just using a 60 minute time frame, overlaid onto each other. All right. Now, to be dead honest, this can be quite, I don't know, visually <laughs> deceptive to try and figure out which one is which, especially if you're using candlesticks. So the other thing you kind of might want to do if you want to use this on a daily time frame, decision making, or whatever the case might be, and to easily read or easier read the price action compare two different markets to each other is to change them to this is what I like doing to line charts instead so let's go for example to the ES and this is I would only a personal preference right and year by chart style change that to line on close which is actually a line chart and let's say for the ES I want the ES to be colored red and then I go ahead and do the same on the NASDAQ. Again, by chart style, I want to, I can keep it on candlesticks if I wanted to. But just for sake of explanation, <clears throat> go to line and close again. Let's say for the NASDAQ, I want it to be dark blue. And then head on over and click OK. All right, and there you have basically the ES and the NASDAQ as line charts. And you can clearly see if you do zoom out back in history that they are very correlated so they eventually do not perfectly all the time but your highs and your lows typically happen on the same dates and the majority of the time and i would say 99 percent of the time they do follow each other in direction i think it was actually an occurrence over here for example um, <clears throat> at this low over here this is now the ES, right? Where the ES actually made another low later on. You can see that if I draw a little line there. Whereas the NASDAQ actually made a low earlier, where the ES made a lower low, the NASDAQ made a higher high instead. All right. So although they're very correlated, there might be instances where these sort of things occur. Whether that's helpful for your analysis or not, that's really dependent on yourself. But this is just a really easy way to compare two different charts with each other and to overlay the one over the other, whether you want to use line charts or candlestick charts, that's up to you, your own personal preference. But um, yeah, very helpful, if, especially if you want to follow markets that are non-correlated or inversely correlated then that's definitely a way that you can do that. The one thing I want to say, though, is if you follow this technique that I've used now, or these steps or instructional steps that I've just shown you, and you get an error message that pops up here that tells you something around the lines of that your template that you are using is only, conf it's only configured to one uh, data series rather than two, because we've got two data series pulled into one chart then all that means is if you go and follow this procedure again, let's go to new here. This is quite important. I get a lot of people coming back at me saying what I'm showing them doesn't work. You, let's say you selected now the ES again, you selected the NASDAQ and you change all those things. Um, and you selected a chart template that you've saved previously. But that chart template's only been saved with one data series that might give an issue and that's why that warning sign uh, pops up so get rid of that you can just go here to none so no chart template if you're getting that area message follow all the steps i've just did with the time frame 
make sure that they color differently whether you want to use candlesticks or line charts displayed in the same panel right both of them as well as the overlay on the second one needs to be uh, set to scale justification overlay all right and then you can go and for example save that as a template call it like overlay charts or whatever the case might be so next time you do load it you don't get that error message all right um, that's pretty much it very easy way to overlay two different instruments or markets over each other hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one take care and goodbye